Yo, yo, excuse me, your boy, he back in another unboxing video, as you guys can see right here. Look at the logo. Don't even have to say much about these shoes. Straight up. I know you guys can see it from the title, but for me, making a video for you guys, we got a pair of unreleased Jordan 37. Woo! Comment down below, do you think this shoe is gonna be sneakers of the year? I mean, like performance wise, like in the Jordan, Jordan generation. I know it's like a kind of like a Jordan 7 kind of vibe because every generation of the 30s is they actually bring it back the Jordan, like the OG generation. They put some kind of like a similar design on that shoes. So, as we can see, go for the box. This is the Jordan 37's box. Very, very clean. Just the Jordan logo with extra paper sleeve on it. And as for details, as you guys can see, there's like a two two line and three line. As represent 23 of Jordan. As you guys know, Jordan number is 30, uh, 27, uh, 23. Sorry about that. And yeah size tag right here if you guys can see it the jordan air jordan 37 i cop a us9 right here um we will also talk about the og not the og not the 35 not the 36 but the 34 in my own opinion wise it's like the breakthrough of the 30 like new generation of basketball shoes yeah I'm pretty sure it's Air Jordan 34. Comment down below. Do you guys agree with me? Also, go follow my Hypercar Z YouTube channel and my Hypercar Z Instagram channel. And if you guys haven't seen my, uh, we call that the giveaway video, I'll put a link at the end of the video or at the side or at the left side of, of my video. So, this is actually winning a pair of Air Jordan Pollen US 9 for free. And if we reach a thousand and five people followers and we reach overall like 3k likes, I will be giving out that pair of Jordan 1 Pollen US 9 for free. No matter where you are, I'm gonna ship it to you. If you're the winner, I'll email you, text you, whatever you want. As for the raffle, please, please go back to the video and comment down below why do you have to give you the shoes, why do you like the pollens, which country you're from, tag your Instagram account onto my video. So let's get into it. I'll open the Jordan 34 for you guys to see later. As for the Jordan 37, let's go. The sleeve I'm talking about. And as you guys can see, this is the Jordan 37 himself, the box. As for the details on the other layer of the box, it's actually like what I said, the two, three, um, and some kind of like a lining at the back, if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, that kind of lining at the box. Really, really sad to say, it's actually not much of design on the box. It's just plain white. I think Jordan Red is giving up on the design. And as you guys can see, uh, that's the logo I'm talking about like in my 4 or 5 video of uh, Nike changing their Air Solo logo. Probably like a new trademark of them. Yup, here we go. As for this box, nothing too much different. And the others, still the same, Nike Air, Nike, Nike Air Soul, and the organ and UK and stuff, shop main logo. So let's get into the box. First off, the open box is actually some kind of different than the others. It's kind of, some kind of like a, can you, you can say a cool design or not cool design, just some kind of annoying design or so. Well, first off the box, this is the Jordan 37. Comment down below, do you guys like this shoes? How do you feel about it? 
Is it your vibe? Is it your style? Does it match your play style? This shoe is actually designed for like uh, Jason Tatum this year because I think his signature shoes will be coming out next year in the middle of the season of 2023. Hopefully we see his signature shoes. As for the 37, it's going to be his game worn shoes every game starting from 2023 season. I already see him matching Jordan 33 like out and release color on his social media of Instagram and Facebook all around YouTube and stuff. But for inside the bag, there's actually nothing much. Just kind of some kind of like icy kind of vibe paper. I'm assuming for you guys, same as usual. So first, take off the other shoes. Other than that, there's nothing in the box. Just straight up nothing. Also, not to mention. Again, this is the XDR version of the Jordan 37. So people from like US or Europe probably can't get these because it's only for the Asia release. Asia release of like Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Currently I am a Hong Kong boy, so it's actually from Hong Kong. And a lot of like weird tester and yeah, weird tester they always buy like shoes from other country like a first hand release just like I'm putting an unboxing video for you guys like when it uh, uh, release in our lo location yeah this is what we get the XDR version durability extra durable rubber extra durable what extra durable so you can play longer as what Nike claims that Asia area that you always play in outdoors but occasionally that is not the truth it's just Mostly, I think. Comment down below, how do you guys feel about these shoes? You think sick? Or you're not rocking with this color? Or maybe it's just the colorway, I don't know. Maybe more colorways coming up. Comment down below, do you like the shoes? As for the material, material wise, the shoes, first of all, what's popping is the purple laces, as you guys can see on the side area. And the tongue that I had to talk about. This tongue is the most soft kind of sway I ever like unbox or touch in a Jordan shoes. Very very smooth. I can't stop touching it. It's very very smooth. It's even better than the Jordan one UNC University Blue. Not gonna lie. Um, I know it's kind of like a fake sway, but. Let's look at premium material on the shoes first, then we're gonna look at like a, the added details of material used on the shoes. As for as for the side and the toe area, this whole lining is literally uh, claims to be leather. What I feel is like leather, but pretty much just fake leather. Yep, from here all around to the toe box, all around back to the heel. And this, there's details are here of Michael Jordan signatures. And at the heel area, this is actually made up of Formula 23, just like the Luca. But what is actually written on the back? AJ37. Oh, the AJ37, as you guys can see, the hidden details. Yep. To not mention the carbon fiber plate this year on the Jordan 37. This look pretty nice, look pretty decent on the photo. First off, from uh, the Jordan like leak website, but actually, when a touch of the car carbon fiber on the Jordan 37, it actually feels like a little bit cheap, not like the Kobe 6 or like Kobe 5. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Just hold on a second for you guys. I'm going to bring back the Kobe 6 I've talked about uh, on the last video of the Rick and Morty's colorway. Oh, no, no. The BU colorway. And... Yep, this is the Kobe 6. If you guys haven't watched the unboxing video, go click the button down below or go scroll down and look at the Kobe 6 Mamba Pro Troll, oh no no, 
the Kobe 6 Mamba Seed, the Pro Tro. And here's the carbon fiber I'm talking about on the Kobe. It's actually feel way better under and on the side, as you guys can see. The exposed carbon fiber. The quality on this is really, really different on Jordan 37. Comment down below if I'm wrong or something. They're just the same quality of carbon fiber or whatsoever. And as for the outsole, as you guys can see, and it's got some kind of colorful orange, purple, and red, and the black mismatch. And the details on the shoes, as you guys can see, Jordan have written back to back and gold medal MVP. Scoring champ. This is actually details of his in what he written on the Jordan Seven. I I'm pretty sure. Yep. As for the mezzo, uh, four foot area, it's Air Zoom logo. As you guys can see right here, the Air Zoom logo. As for these shoes, actually they do like a double stack zoom, like a big ass four foot unit and a small piece of air zoom, like this kind of size. As for the, the quality wise, I mean the quality control on the 37 is kind of decent. Not much of like a plastic uh, glue stain or so. But not gonna lie, after I put on like two days ago or yesterday, uh, it's actually pr feel pretty, pretty, not bad, but not as good. So you better really, really watch out of these shoes because it's very, very exposed, even exposed than the Jordan 34. It's a, I mean, it's really, really light, but the heaviest part is the midsole of the Air Zoom. In the Formula 23, as you guys can see, the Formula 30 23 is actually caged on surround at the heel. And pretty much else, I mean, the price in is kind of expensive because the material on this is actually not that great. Not gonna lie, don't hate if you're a Jordan fan. And I'll also show you guys about like the midsole and sock liner they're using. First off, when you take out, it's just a piece of paper they always do put in. And the sock liner. Yep, the sock liner. Same color as the outsole. Purple, red, black, orange. And the off lot, the blue off lot, just like the Jordan 34. I'll show you guys the Jordan 34. Hold on a second. For me, I think the Jordan 34 actually have a better design on the box and the shoes. As you guys can see, it's kind of beat up. It's actually the same off a lot. Not gonna lie, it's actually the same. This is the Jordan 34 and this is the Jordan 37. As you guys can see, four generation they still using the same kind of outsole. Uh insole, I mean the input insole. So oh you can just literally see the four foot zoom unit when you take off the midsole on the Jordan 37. I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on a second. You guys can see it. There's the air zoom unit on the four foot area. Right there. There's actually like a two stacked. Like there's a big ass four foot zoom unit just like the zoom turbo. And underneath the area right there at the bottom there's still like a stack of zoom. So actually pretty as for the comfortability, uh, as you 
kind of very comfortable, but as for performance wise, I think the lateral containment is not that good for real. So comment down below if you guys think this shoe is going to be decent. Will it end up on the best basketball shoes of the year? I ex absolutely don't know and don't think it will be, but you know, I'm not that... <laughs> I can't control about like people like in the world of like Jordan fan what they're gonna say or how they're gonna bring the shoes up. For me, I'm just not feeling the vibe of it. Comment down below if you guys like the shoes. And not to mention, not mention this is actually unreleased it in the US. I think they're gonna be like releasing in like the next two months. lace yep that's about it comment down below do you guys like the shoes I'll give you guys like a 360 look of it for me though I think the Jordan 34 is the best the best design and the best performance wise of the Jordan 30 series series yes sir Especially the Eclipse plate, plate they put on, starting off the Jordan 34. There's actually absolutely no like cons on the shoes for me. But for other YouTubers, they put on like reviews on it. There's actually people saying like their pinky toe actually like very, very uncomfortable on this area. But for me, it's fine. So let's close up the video. Give you guys like a 360 look. This is the side of the Jordan 37 and the back, as you guys can see, Jordan's uh, signature and the Jordan logo on top, and the side. Comment down below, do you guys like the video or not? Remember to join the raffle, it's free, everyone will have a chance to win a pair of Jordan Lie. Uh, Jordan 1 pollen for free ship worldwide don't have to pay a penny it was shipped to your door straight after we reach our goal so comment down below subscribe to my youtube channel more video coming up hope I'm gonna win the Travis Scott raffle in around like two or three re weeks because Hong Kong Nike haven't put up the Travis Scott Reverse Mocha on the raffle yet. So I may have a chance or may not because the percentage of winning that kind of raffle is literally like maybe only like 20% of people in Hong Kong is going to win. So wish me luck. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.